So I, I'm going to tell you one of my Christmas uh, stories from uh, sexy XXX, XXXXmas stories. And uh, the first one I thought of is, um, uh, well, it's a long time ago, a long time ago now. I was, I was in my early 20s, about 26, 20, 23, 4, 20, say, let's, say, let's say 25, split the difference, 24, 20, 24 and a half. About that. Anyway, I, I, it doesn't matter. I was, I was. Uh, that's about what age I was. Twenty, twenty. Let's call it twenty-four. Round it down. Twenty-four. Uh, <clears throat> so look at twenty-five. Go for mid twenties. Twenty-five. Let's say. I was going for a, a job interview in in a, a big office place. I, did, I, don't, I don't like office work really, but I was desperate. I was desperate for money, not desperate for work. Fuck work. I was desperate for money. I wanted to get some money because I needed. I needed to pay some bills and uh, pay the rent and. Um, and uh, and of course buy buy parts. I was I was desperately searching for more uh, rocket parts. Um, I get I get you know if you don't know I'm building my own uh, rocket. I've, I've perfected the uh, manure power manure power. Uh, so so it's uh, it's very green. It's a very green when it comes to rockets. You don't expect uh, it to be good for the environment. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's not very really bad anyway. Uh, and anyway, I'll be I'll be off into space in my rocket. The first the first ever uh, man. Um, especially British man, because usually you think of Americans, don't you, or, or Russia or China or something. But no, no, I'm British, uh, and I'm and, I'm, and uh, uh, I wouldn't say I'm proud of it, but I'm British, and I'm and I'm going to I'm going to build him, build him your own rocket. And I was desperate for parts. So I've got, sorry, I've gone off on a, a tangent there. Um, so I went to went to this big office for the job interview. I found I found the room where I was going to be interviewed for this for this uh, poxy office job. And um, a woman, woman was interviewing me. Not very, very nice, very attractive woman. And uh, instantly, uh, I was attracted to her. I'm attracted to a lot of women, to be honest. I was attracted to her, and uh, and she interviewed me. She asked me a few questions about this, that, and the other, and um, uh, and, and, and I answered them best I could. And uh, we, we we hit it off. We 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 had lots of laughs, lots of laughs. It was a very good interview, I thought. Anyway. Um, so 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 uh, she said you let me know i'll let you know she said so off i went done did the interview and it was about it was i think it was the 22nd of december so it was close to christmas and i think it was the this office is this particular office it was their last day uh working before before christmas so i was lucky to get uh, uh an interview just before christmas and i was hoping to start the new year new year new job that's what i thought new year new job i'm just a cup of sip of tea Oh, God, did I tell you, I, love, I fucking love a cup of tea. So I went, so I was going, leaving the building, got lost. It was a, it was a maze, this building. It was a bloody maze. And uh, I was trying to find my way out. You'd think that'd be easy, wouldn't you? But I, uh, I was all over the place. And I think I was a bit sort of, uh, on my mind was, w- will I get the job? Well, uh, and, uh, and of course, I was thinking back to this woman, imagining uh, all sorts of things. Uh, mostly sexual with this, with this uh, woman that interviewed me, and um, so anyway, I, I was bumbling around the building. I opened the door. I heard a lot of noise, and I thought maybe it's a foyer or something. So I opened the door, uh, and there was loads of people in there. They'd sort of set up a bar, and uh, it turned and there's balloons. There no, was a whole. It was a Christmas party. It was a Christmas office party, and uh, as as I I was about to leave again because I thought, well, this is the wrong route. This is not the way out. And um, this bloke handed me a, a drink, said, hey, whee, and uh, blew one of those things in my face. You know, I don't know, I haven't got one to do a demonstration, but you know what I mean, they un- unfurl. Hilarious they are. And, and he um, blew that in my face, gave me a drink, so, I, well, fair enough. So, so um, I thought I'd hang around, I would know where else to go. Free, free booze, free, free uh, little tiny cheese sandwiches and uh, various other crisps and stuff. Nuts. Uh, what else was there? Nuts. There was uh, green things with sticks sticking out of them. Don't know what they were. Um, they looked a bit rubbery. Uh, there was um, uh, there was there was salmon. If you like, if you're a, a person who eats fish, there was salmon. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm a vegetarian, so I just I just kept, made a beeline for the uh, cheese. Um, so I had, had, had a couple of little cheese sandwiches. Uh, went to the bar. Had a had a. Um, I had a large whiskey, like a lot, especially Christmas time, and when it's cold, you want to want to warm inside you. And um, anyway, I, I was um, 
Having a lovely old time. I started, I started to talking to some people there. There were some, there were some quite sexy ladies there. I must admit, that worked there. So I was, I was thinking, right, if I get this job, if I get this job, I, um, I you know, who, who knows your luck? Because I'd have, I don't have a lot of luck with women, and um, never have done, never have done. It's been a, been a bit of a curse. Don't know why. Never understood it. I've, I've, uh, I've watched a lot of porn, and um, and read books on um, how to chat up ladies, and um, it's been useless. But but I usually get bored when after about the third page anyway. So anyway, so I'm so I'm in the party. I'm having a lovely time in the party. Shall I play a song and 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 then give you the rest of the rest of the uh, party story? Uh, so 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 you so far I'm, I'm uh, job interview went well, got lost, got in the party. This is recap recap for the first part of this story. Went uh, in the party having a few drinks. Having a bit of a chat, made it made a couple of sort of not friends, but you know, got on well with a couple of people there. And um, I thought, you know, I thought I was thinking if if um, if I um, make a few friendships now, if I do get the job, I've got, I'm 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 already in, and I you know with, with you know it's, I've got a head start. So it, it was going well. It was a particularly good day for me up to that point, uh, which which is a, a rare thing in itself. Anyway, part two of my office uh, office party story. After after this. (laughs) 